Hey guys, it's the Rin Reviewer here with a video review. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Dragon Ball Z Panini trading card game. I bought five booster packs, each having five cards. And I also got some card sleeves. So you put them on your cards and it keeps them good. So anyway, let's get right into it. I have already cut open the bags, so I mean, I haven't looked at what's inside though. So, our first pack, we have Combination Drill, Captain Ginyu's Pain, Blue Crush, Piccolo as one of the main personality cards, so I'll put him down here, Namekian Hurried Quest, and that's all. So I'll put Piccolo in a sleeve on. So you can see our Piccolo card. Now all of these Dragon Ball cards really do fit uh, quite well in the sleeves. So um, on the side you can see sort of all of the power levels that he can use. I'm not really sure how to play the game myself, so. But there's 2,500, 5,000, 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, 40,000, 50,000, 60,000, 70,000, and 80,000. So that's our first pack. Let's go on to our next one. So our first card is Zarbon, one of Frieza's servants. Black Fist Lock. Namekian Cutoff. Namekian Shocking Drill, and Black Upward Dodge. So, I'm gonna be putting all of the main personalities that we get, I'm putting them all in sleeves, so Sarbon. So Zarbon's here is Zarbon. Uh, so his power levels are 2,500, 5,000, 10,000, 15,000, 20,000, 25,000, 30,000, 35,000, 40,000, and 45,000. Not quite as strong as Piccolo, but still pretty good. So our next pack, we got Red Emergency, Orange Crashing Drill, Namekian Energy Beads, Nappa's Confidence, and Red Club. Pretty surprised there, we didn't get a main personality, but it's still fine. So, on to our next pack. We have Namekian Self Training, Raditz, with the power levels of 600, 1,500, 2,400, 3,300, 4,200, 5,100, 6,000, 6,900, 7,800, 8,700. Not that good. But we also have Captain Ginyu. His power levels are 1,250, 2,500, 5,000, 15,000, 25,000, 35,000, 45,000, 55,000, 65,000, and 75,000. Really good, almost as good as Piccolo. We have Vegeta Impatient. This is a really cool card, actually, because uh, in the first episode of Dragon Ball Z, this was the original design for Vegeta with the orange hair and the different colored armor. Anyway, his power levels are 2,000, 4,000, 6,000, 8,000, 10,000, 12,000, 14,000, 16,000, 18,000, and 20. And we also have black foreshadowing. So for our final pack, let's see what we have. We have combination drill, Dodoria, who is uh, one of Frieza's henchmen, black radiating drill, Orange Charged Kick, and Tian Shin Han Prepared. His power levels are 60,000, 65,000, 70,000, 75,000, 80,000, 85,000, 90,000, 95,000, 100,000, 
and 105,000, who is, and he is actually better than Piccolo. He, um, I already have uh, other cards that I bought, and uh, actually out of them all, Tian Shin Han is the best one. So, I'm gonna cut the video now and put all of my main personalities into sleeves, and I'll see you after that. Okay guys, so these are all of our main personality cards, or basically character cards, in sleeves. So we have Raditz, level one, who is a villain. Captain Ginyu, level one, who is actually an ally. So what allies do is they um they help your main personality, you kind of like attach them. Vegeta, who is an ally. Dodoria, who is an ally. Tian Shin Han, who is a hero. Zarbon, who is an ally, and Piccolo, who surprisingly is an ally because Piccolo is definitely one of the main heroes. So, that is all for my review on the Dragon Ball Z trading card game. I hope to see you next time, and until then, subscribe to my channel and like and comment on my videos. Goodbye.